have partnered with Alienware and I am a part of the Alienware Hive. They sent me a bunch of amazing new things to try out and to use and I am so excited. I'm in love with the products and I have so much to show you. First things first, I'm the realist. Kidding. I have unboxings to share with you. If you like unboxings, well then this is right up your alley because I'm just gonna show you, you know, me unboxing everything for the first time and my first impressions, which by the way, get your beautiful counters up and ready. I say it a lot. <laughs> we have the 610M mouse. It is wireless and wired. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never had a wireless mouse before. And I feel like it'll be really nice to not have to worry about, you know, the wire. That's easy. Boom. Oh my god. <gasps> She's a beauty. That is a gorgeous mouse. Oh my god. It's got two buttons on the side, left to right, and our middle mouse wheel. I've been using a mouse that has the mouse wheel is broken and anytime I scroll down it'll go up and down up and down it does not know what it's doing so this is gonna be such a nice upgrade I'm so excited in the box it comes with a pamphlet of information or like its little box of information a cord and or cable and then this is a oh this is a connector I believe for the mouse and that's everything in the box you plug it in to charge, and if you don't want it to be charging or you want to use it wirelessly, you just unplug it, and so long as it has the 350 hours of battery life in there, it's good to go. On the bottom of the mouse, it has a tiny little USB that will pull out and connect to your computer. Um, so you could do that, I'm assuming, wirelessly, and then I think that the, the cables and everything are to charge it, or to have it fully wired in. Very nice, and I love the way it feels. It has a matte feeling like a matte finish feel to it and I love 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 that and that wheel feels so good yes 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 oh and then the middle part moves up or down for the DPI changing very cool if you have a mouse and you're on your computer you need a mouse pad and this bad boy looks like it's a huge one this is the Alienware Tact X mouse mat ultra surface 83 by 37 centimeters, so it's a big boy. Slice on in. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> it's big! Oh my god, okay, awesome! Oh, it feels so good too. I love it. It's a nice big boy. Big boy mouse pad, I love this. I can't ever use a small, like, singular small square mouse pad anymore after using big ones it's just like this just makes sense it's great because it can grip your keyboard and your mouse all together and it just feels really good and the bottom is nice and grippy as well we have the alienware 510h gaming headset another easy unboxing type of thing just pull it right off oh oh my god oh it's like velcroed in that's cute. It's got us little straps, little seat belts, little headphone seat belts. I keep getting closed. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. This feels so oh so nice. It's like a silicone feeling on the top. Oh mama. It has a retractable mic, which is so great. Always super useful. If you game, you need to communicate to your teammates if you are playing a cooperative type of game, multiplayer, whatever. So you want to have a mic. This is really nice. And also for when I, like, personally, because I stream, I have a particular mic. So having a headset that has a microphone in it is great for when I'm traveling. So I can just grab my headset and go and not have to worry about a microphone or bringing another microphone with me. Oh my god, that feels so... It feels like a cloud on my head. That's really comfortable. That's like really, really comfy. I can still hear myself talk, but I feel like I'm in a chamber. That's so cool. Oh my God, that's so nice. You can adjust the headphones to your liking for whatever fits your head, uh, just by moving it up and down. Really simple, they move outward. 
I love that it has like this silver look to it where it almost looks white and it's just so pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited. In the box, it has its little booklet information. I like the cute little Alienware box. Oh, I just ripped it. <laughs> and then you flip this open. So then it has all the little cables that you're gonna need for your computer so you can turn the volume up and down, USB, audio jack cables, and the things for the mic and your, uh, I say the things, I don't know the technical terms, but the plug for your microphone and your headset in the back of your PC, which is so nice. And I love that it has this external um, jack that you connect to because sometimes maybe you get up from your PC quickly and yank it or so and that was it's never good to do but it's always a lot better that it has like this middle person or middle part so if you do yank it off somehow it's gonna just disconnect instead of like pulling everything out of your PC so these are for the uh, just general cables and then if you wanted to USB port it you can USB port it as well we're gonna open up the 510k Alienware keyboard I'm really bad at this stuff <laughs> old keyboard but not at the same time i like that so we have super simple keyboard and the cables oh yeah so it's a two usb keyboard it's like a silver that looks almost white and i love that oh i love it so much and it's got the little feet which is quite nice. It's got a scrolly thing here. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to learn and I'm excited. And just, let's see, let's see, let's see. So they're MX Cherry keys, quiet, but also mechanical, and they feel amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And it has a little booklet with information. And that's it. Really, really simple unboxing. This is a big boy. It's a 27 inch gaming monitor. Let's get unboxing this big boy. Oh my goodness. Um, where do I start? Okay. I like am hiding behind this thing. And this isn't even the biggest one. What? Dicey, dicey. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Okay. Okay. Oh. Let's see, how do I do this? They have like these little seal things, which is really cool. There's one and the other. Figuring it out. It's got them on the back too. I don't know if this is the right way, but it's the way that came. Came open for me. Yes! Woo! Got him! We're in. <laughs> that took me a little bit longer than it should have, but it's fine. We're here. Okay, so this way up, there's a box that I'm assuming has all of the cables and information. No, this is actually, what is this? Backplate? Like a hidden, like a little backplate perhaps? Then we have a bunch of different cables. So this is just like the power cable. This seems like it is, I actually don't know what the name of it is, but it's blue and it has a fun little shape to it. Someone probably knows. Someone watching this probably knows. If you came here for technical words and everything, that's not, I don't know. These are the HDMI cables and then additional, um, the display port cable. I don't remember the word. But I know because I have one like that and then a bunch of information and everything in that box. Are you ready for the big boy part? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, information on how to assemble it. It does go vertically and horizontally, which is very nice. This is the arm. I feel that it's the arm. Ooh, nicely packaged. It's got a certain smell to it. I don't know what the smell is, but 
It's tech. Always gonna have some kind of smell. So, oh my God, look at how pretty that is. That's the back of the monitor. So this is where it latches on if you don't have a arm or anything like some kind of thing to suspend your monitor. A stand of sorts. This is the stand that it comes with. Everything that they have is just like this beautiful silver, almost white matte finish. It's so beautiful. Then we have the bottom part of the stand. Looks like little gloves. Little gloves. You guys are gonna see it before me. Ooh. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Oh, so I have a two arm monitor stand and I don't even wanna use it because this is so freaking pretty. Oh my god, so you put this, the other part I just showed you, and then the monitor, and then bam, baby. This is so pretty. Here it is. The big bang, the big baby. My new big baby. There it is, there it is. Perfect, wonderful, beautiful. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's unbox it. My room is not big enough for all of this stuff. Oh my God. I feel, hold on. I'm excited for how beautiful this silver white is. Oh my God, aesthetic. Oh. So pretty. Oh my God. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I don't want to touch it. I'm going to get handprints all over it, but it's so pretty. Seems pretty frameless where you don't have that like black box around your monitor. And then look at the back. Stuff you won't see, but it's just aesthetically so freaking beautiful this matte silver almost white look and the i love it the alien it looks like that's a light so it's gonna glow up i'm assuming um the alienware uh logo the buttons are on the back on the side Ooh, this has like a little switch a little knob that's fun and all the little buttons to change up your display oh i love it oh i love it so much we're gonna set this baby up oh that's so pretty Oh my God, so absolutely beautiful. The stand, everything, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now this is gigantic. A 34 inch curved gaming monitor. Oh my God. So it has the cool locking mechanisms. You just pull off, cut the tape, nice and easy. Pretty heavy. Y'all ready? I don't think I'm ready. 34 inches curved. It's a pull up kind of thing. Just got a wiggle. Another box with all of the wires, cords, cables, everything, the back plate as well. I think this is so you can like put the cables into the back of the monitor and then kind of hide all of their plugins and everything like that. I love that. That's so beautiful. This box, that's just an empty box. Take off this first part. Then we have the stand for it. So well, the arm that connects to the stand. Then the stand slips right off and are you guys ready oh my god it's so big this is huge 34 inches you don't need more than two monitors if you have a 34 inch monitor you basically have two other monitors in one and it's curved you see that full around like feel and look oh man oh man <laughs> this is can't say it enough, cannot say it enough. It has the frameless type of edge where you don't have like this big thick border. All of the buttons are on the back of the monitor, which I really, really like. Just look at it. First of all, very much curved and just so beautiful with the silver matte look. Oh, I love it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up too. Holy crap. This is insane. 
Now I have a two arm monitor stand that I attach to my desk. I eventually want to get something that's like a wall floating type thing. I think those are just really beautiful where it looks very seamless. But even with that desire for this seamless like aesthetic and just beautiful matte finish silvery white, I think that like these stands are just so pretty that I'm not even like worried about it. And it latches in super easy. There's a button on the back you push if you want to release it. Very easy. Love it. Oh my God. And it has the angled part to it too. So you can angle it a little bit. Oh my God, it's so heavy. <laughs> and you can push it up or down depending on what height you want. 3440 by 1440 resolution. I honestly don't think that I've ever seen such a beautiful monitor in my life. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And you can move it this, oh my God, yes, baby girl, I love you. I know there's a lot of monitors out there, but this is really just perfect to me. Aesthetically, just like with necessities of what I use it for and how I use my computer, my computer parts and everything, my monitors. Oh man, oh man. I'm excited. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. As I was saying with the monitor stands that I normally have, like the floating stands I can move around, this has this like perfect space where it has plenty of stuff and, and room to have things underneath the monitor itself and it doesn't take up space. It doesn't have like this huge bulging like mound or mount rather. It has just boom, legs, just spread eagle, looking beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, this is so amazing. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> What the heck? I have a huge box to open. A big old box. But I have my handy dandy box cutter. Let's dive in. Oh, it's happening. Mac is here for some handy dandy help. Right, sir? He's actually looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> okay, let's open this big old box. Huh, 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 huh. Are you excited? He decided to come in and help. Yeah, you want to help me? Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, you can't really help me, hon. It's a gaming chair. Like a big old, big old chair. Let's build it. So first, the stand. It's a little starfish. Set that aside. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I love blue. I'm so excited for this. It's blue. <laughs> oh my God. All right. The back. Nice little pillow. Ooh, heavy little portion. The uh, way to change the height of it. Handy dandy box of all the materials you'll need. It is a Vert Gear Racing Series gaming chair from Alienware. The back pillow. And the big mama. This is where my butt goes. <laughs> In the box we have wheels. Tools, another box, and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a manual for instructions. Mac, will you be helping me? You just want to help today, darling. Nope, okay. <laughs> then in here, oh, maybe the middle part. Yeah, let's take off the protective stuff first. Boom, baby. First, we're gonna flip this over and pop the wheels on. Mac keeps coming in and out and trying to help and then realizing he doesn't have the paws for it. The base is ready. Oh my God. Oh, that's such a nice fabric. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got Mac excited. <laughs> yeah, it's a new chair, bud. Heck yeah. Can you help me get this off? Yeah, I beat you. <laughs> You're such a good helper. Oh wow, what a good helper. You did it, you did it. <laughs> I love you too. Oh, you got my hair in your mouth. You say love you too. Following the manual. And 
back on they go. This bad boy is secure. Time to put this into the hole. Look at this. Then we take Mr. Starfish, pop it on like that. Come on, Bob. Let's do it together. And... Oh, perfect. It's perfect. Next, we put together the last part, the back of it. Ooh, ooh, she fine. Ooh, that feels so nice, like a nice cloth. Oh my God, it's so comfortable. Compared to my current chair, it has like this netted mesh feel to it. This is like smooth butter on your bottom <laughs> and your back. <laughs> so there's these little like holes and slots ultimately. You wanna slide it on in, one side. There you go. Slide her on in. And now we screw together. I don't know if it's in the right hole. The screws were a little hard, but he figured it out <laughs> and managed it with a little bit of a little sweat, blood, and tears. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But it's done, I think, right? <laughs> so do I just sit in it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I like that. So there's buttons on the side to move the armrests. Also on the other side to raise them or put them lower. And then the lever you pull to like lean back. Ooh, we could do some like Dr. Evil type stuff. Or go to sleep. Oh, it goes really far. Oh, oh it hit me. <laughs> hey, Mike. Then we just take our alien wear pillow and we put it on the chair. And it's done. Yay! I love this chair. Oh my god, it's so nice! I love the color scheme. The fabric is so soft and so comfortable. Oh my goodness. I am so excited for this chair. I'm so excited. I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> On my gaming channel, I have my first ever gaming PC build video. And I built that in 2015. I have been using that 2015 PC until now and it's been and it still is working and I will still continue to use it. It might turn into my stream PC. I haven't had a new PC or any new parts for a PC that are an upgrade or anything from that like like that since 2015. Now, March 2020, my life has now changed. I now have the Alienware Aurora. Oh my god! Okay, let's open it. So we have cables, a basic mouse that it comes with. That's nice. So if you like, it just, you're, you're ready to go. You're ready to rock and roll when you get this computer. Your power cable, a mouse to just simply set it up. Being as it comes with a mouse, it also has a simple basic keyboard so you can also set everything up. Very nice. I don't have to worry about that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. God, it's so simple. So I built my first PC, so I was like each little individual part, and I forget you can buy pre-built ones or built computers. This part. There's that. Whoa! Look at it! It's like a freaking jet engine part. This is so cool! Wow! Okay, going down. Look at this. Oh my god, it looks like a jet engine. This is so freaking cool. A couple of USB ports, headphone plugs. I love it. So it has all of the ports and plugs for you to plug everything into your computer, in the back, and the front, just gorgeous. A little backstory, in 2019, my very first build that I built in 2015, the graphics card died. And when that happened, I was thinking, okay, well, I'm gonna get a, a replacement graphics card, which I did, but it got me thinking, maybe it's time to start upgrading, maybe it's time to build a new PC or to change up what I have. So I went through and I had this whole dream build, and honestly, 
these products were exactly what I was looking for. I wanted that white aesthetic, that matte white aesthetic, and I needed the speed, the power, and the ability that all of these products have. And I'm so grateful for it. I'm so happy to be a part of the Alienware Hive. I'm so happy to have such an amazing community that has supported me over the years, and to have the ability to be able to stream and to make content like this. I love it so damn much, and I'm just so grateful. I hope you enjoyed the Alienware haul, and I hope you continue your gaming needs and your gaming journeys, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I will have all of the links to each of these products in the description below where you can find them, more specs about them, and anything that might be, uh, you know, up your alley, what you're curious on that I mentioned in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was fun to watch, and if you'd like to see more things, I just hit my hand on my desk. <laughs> if you want to see or know of more things about me, my streams, what I do on the internet, any kind of gaming content things, or just stuff you want to see behind the scenes, let me know and I will uh, take care of that for you or I'll try and do my best. Or you can come ask me on Twitter or Instagram. We have the YouTube channels here, if you've got the Twitch channel, everything is in the description. I hope you have an amazing, wonderful morning, evening, day, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs>